The James Webb Space Telescope, a new era of discovery The James Webb Space Telescope, known as JWST, is the most advanced space observatory ever created. Developed through international collaboration, its mission is to explore the deepest regions of the cosmos, from nearby planets to ancient galaxies formed shortly after the Big Bang. JWST isn't just another telescope. It's a window into the unknown, designed to unravel the mysteries of our solar system, peer into the atmospheres of far-off exoplanets, and study the formation and evolution of galaxies. Recently, astronomers aimed this powerful instrument at a star located about 120 light-years from Earth. What they found was astonishing. Signs of carbon-bearing molecules in the atmosphere of a distant planet, possibly covered in vast oceans. This discovery marked a significant leap in the search for habitable worlds beyond our own. Exploring K218b, a potential ocean world the planet is called K218b. It's about 8.6 times more massive than Earth and orbits a cool red dwarf star in the constellation Leo. It lies within the so-called habitable zone, where temperatures might allow for the presence of liquid water. What makes K218b unique is its classification. It's a sub-Neptune, larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune, a type of planet that doesn't exist in our solar system. JWST revealed the presence of methane and carbon dioxide in its atmosphere, strengthening the idea that this world might support environments suitable for life. Initial data came from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, but JWST's superior sensitivity has now provided the most precise atmospheric profile of K218b to date. Even more intriguing, scientists detected potential traces of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a molecule associated with biological activity on Earth. On our planet, DMS is primarily produced by microscopic marine organisms. While the signal isn't yet confirmed, it raises compelling questions about what might exist beneath the planet's hydrogen-rich skies. Not all signs point to life, yet despite the excitement, researchers are cautious. K218b is likely enveloped in thick clouds and may have a high-pressure icy interior topped by a deep hydrogen atmosphere. While liquid oceans might exist beneath, the pressure and chemistry could be too extreme for life as we know it. Still, the absence of ammonia in the atmosphere, paired with the presence of methane and CO, suggests an environment that could differ significantly from gas giants like Neptune or Uranus. And that's precisely why scientists are so intrigued. JWST uses a technique called transit spectroscopy. As the planet passes in front of its host star, starlight filters through the planet's atmosphere. That light carries the fingerprints of the gases it passed through, allowing researchers to decode the atmosphere's contents with incredible accuracy. The team now plans to use JWST's mid-infrared instruments to follow up confirming the presence of DMS and other molecules that might indicate habitability. A broader cosmic context but K218b is just one of many fascinating targets for JWST. Astronomers recently used the telescope to study a distant galaxy formed when the universe was only a tenth of its current age. Incredibly, they detected complex carbon molecules, aromatic hydrocarbons, the kind found in fossil fuels and industrial byproducts here on Earth. These compounds, made up of dozens of carbon and hydrogen atoms, were discovered far earlier in the universe's timeline than previously thought possible. The light from this galaxy began its journey toward Earth about 12.3 billion years ago. That means these molecules formed just 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. Their presence suggests that carbon chemistry, and potentially the building blocks of life, may have developed much sooner and more widely than we imagined. Even more puzzling, these hydrocarbons were unevenly distributed within the galaxy, hinting at processes that scientists don't yet fully understand. Despite its ancient origin, the galaxy had already amassed a mass similar to the Milky Way and contained large quantities of carbon and oxygen, essential elements for life. The bigger picture each of these discoveries, whether from K218b or ancient galaxies, adds another piece to the puzzle of how the universe formed and evolved. The James Webb Space Telescope is helping scientists probe deeper than ever before, 
identifying not just where stars and planets form, but how the essential ingredients for life come together across space. The implications are profound with each new observation. We inch closer to unraveling one of the greatest mysteries of existence, the origin and prevalence of life. The recent detection of possible biosignature gases like dimethyl sulfide, DMS, in the atmosphere of K218b isn't just a scientific breakthrough. It's a philosophical jolt. It invites us to rethink everything we thought we knew about how and where life might arise. Could the chemistry that gave rise to life on Earth be common throughout the universe? Might the essential ingredients, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, combine in similar ways on countless distant worlds? If so, life may not be an Earth-bound miracle, but a cosmic inevitability. And planets like K218b, with their vast oceans and hydrogen-rich skies, may represent just one of many possible cradles of life in the cosmos. If even a small fraction of exoplanets host similar conditions, then microbial ecosystems, or perhaps even intelligent life, could be far more widespread than we ever imagined. And the real question becomes not if, but when we will detect irrefutable signs of life beyond Earth. Peering beyond shadows thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, we've moved beyond the age of mere planetary detection. We're no longer just finding distant worlds, we're beginning to read their atmospheres like fingerprints left across light. JUST's powerful infrared capabilities allow scientists to identify trace elements, weather systems, cloud compositions, and even temperature gradients across entire alien planets. By studying how starlight filters through a planet's atmosphere during transit, researchers can detect the subtle spectral signatures of complex molecules. Methane, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and potentially even dimethyl sulfide, all leave behind unique chemical imprints. These aren't just data points. They're clues. Clues about climate, geological activity, potential oceans, and biological processes. Clues that could one day lead us to life. Looking forward. A new era of exploration the discoveries made possible by JWST are just the beginning. As we look to the future, the next generation of space observatories, like the planned Habitable Worlds Observatory, HWO, the European Extremely Large Telescope, EELT, and the LUVOIR mission concept, promise to revolutionize our understanding even further. These advanced instruments will offer greater sensitivity, higher resolution, and wider spectral ranges. They could identify true biosignatures with more certainty, directly image Earth-like exoplanets, and even detect artificial light or atmospheric anomalies suggestive of intelligent life. Meanwhile, missions like Ariel and the Roman Space Telescope will expand the catalog of known exoplanets, surveying hundreds of atmospheres across the galaxy. As more data flows in, astronomers will refine models of planetary formation, climate evolution, and habitability, painting a more complete picture of how life might thrive in the universe. A living cosmos? The idea that life might be a common feature of the cosmos is no longer science fiction. It's a hypothesis backed by mounting evidence. And if even one exoplanet hosts microbial life, then the implications ripple across every discipline, biology, astronomy, philosophy, and even theology. JWST has already transformed our perception of the universe. It revealed the earliest galaxies, captured stellar nurseries in exquisite detail, and now, it's hinting at biological chemistry far beyond Earth. Each discovery strengthens a radical possibility, that the universe is not sterile and empty, but complex, ancient, and possibly teeming with life. Perhaps we are not alone. Perhaps we never were. Conclusion. On the edge of revelation, this is more than a golden age of astronomy. It's a moment of awakening. With every spectrum captured, every molecule identified, and every exoplanet mapped, we get closer to answering the age-old question. Are we alone? Thanks to tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, the universe is no longer just a place we observe, it's a story we are beginning to understand. And as that story unfolds, one discovery at a time, we must be ready for whatever comes next. Because the truth may be stranger, deeper, and more beautiful than we ever